Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for taking that time to subscribe to this channel as we get closer to the hurricane season. I do want to touch on this first, and then we're going to get an, uh, a look at an increased chance of rain for some and an increased chance of wind, some gusty winds the next couple days. So we'll cover all of that, but there is that earthquake cluster common to get earthquake clusters. Those are a few days or even up to about two weeks of some additional earthquakes. We've been seeing that the last couple of days a little bit more notable. So this is more of a significant earthquake cluster, uh, which means we've seen a good deal of uh, earthquakes around, but no significant earthquakes. So uh, we haven't seen any super strong ones, but watching the British, US Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, back through the Dominican Republic, some increased uh, earthquakes here, or at least uh, more earthquakes. I'll be tracking that area in case any kind of uh, give you a jolt. I'll be watching that for us to see if we do have any stronger ones. Sometimes you can get a few stronger ones with an earthquake cluster. So know that I'm watching that behind the scenes. Now here's what's going on. You see right through the middle of the United States, clipping Canada, a bigger system moving in. This is going to draw in some additional moisture from the Pacific side back into the Caribbean and eventually even over toward the Bahamas. It's amazing how that weather's tied together. Front right here will help pump in some additional moisture, a higher chance of rain for some of us. And you see some of the uh, additional clouds, Yucatan Peninsula, back near the Cayman Islands, Cuba, parts of Florida over toward the Bahamas. Nothing, nothing big yet, but as we get into the upcoming week, we'll see that better chance of rain. So let's start with that and then I'll expand out the view to shoot to the north. Now today, spotty showers around Trinidad, Barbados, uh, Puerto Rico, Anguilla, St. Kitts and Nevis. We may get a few and a little bit more the next few days scattered about Costa Rica and Panama. Here are those spotty showers, Jamaica, Cuba, Bahamas, back through the Turks and Caicos, even a few around Haiti and still watching a couple in Trinidad and Tobago. This is on Monday, so this is tomorrow. Then uh, moving forward into Tuesday, look what happens here. This is later on Tuesday. It's getting really hot for a lot of us, and that means the day daytime heating is going to allow uh, the atmosphere to be more stable. When you get a lot of heating, uh, the clouds could really build up. And you see that, for example, right into Cuba late in the day on Tuesday, a better chance of scattered storms with that front to the north scattered elsewhere, watching out for some spotty showers. But we're going to start to see a better chance of thunderstorms. This will even include us in uh, Jamaica as we work forward with that better chance of some uh, rain down the road. I'll show you that as we expand out in a second, but the winds, they are gusty. Here's kilometers an hour and miles per hour on your screen. And you see near the ABC Islands, clipping of Venezuela, Colombia, uh, back near the Turks and Caicos, Haiti and the Dominican Republic, a little bit of white in here. We're going to see some gusty winds, 80 kilometers an hour or even 50 miles per hour. Can't be ruled out. So some stronger winds watching that Antigua, Barbuda, uh, back through St. Uh, Lucia as we go throughout the day. And that will also mean elevated seas. The seas are going to be higher. I'll show you that as well in just a second. Now here's that expanded view. Here's that system from the Great Lakes dipping down right into the Tennessee River Valley. Now we're going to see some spotty showers around as we go throughout the day today. So this is uh, today, but as we get into late today, parts of the southeastern United States could get stronger, even severe thunderstorms and watching that line by tomorrow near the east coast of the United States. And I'll show you Canada in just a second as some of this moisture builds. But look what happens as we get into the upcoming week. This is on Tuesday. That front moves near Bermuda. There's that higher chance of some rain uh, near Cuba and Jamaica. It's not a washout, but we're going to start to get some of those thunderstorms around that can lead to some isolated flooding. So this is on Tuesday. And then look with me on Wednesday and then I'll show you the seas. See some of that extra rain. Cuba scattered storms on Wednesday, even in Jamaica, and then pushing back toward the Bahamas. So better chance of rain. The energy from the front lifts to the north, right? But the tail end of it near Bermuda sweeping down through the Bahamas and with that uh, higher chance uh, or rather hotter weather, we have that higher chance of some scattered storms breaking out. And we'll be tracking that as we go throughout the week. Now, uh, this all corresponds to the seas. Watching in the Caribbean, that strong easterly flow with the fronts up to the north now, everything really building about three to four uh, meters, which is kind of typical for the south central. You see they're popping off a little bit. South central sections of the Caribbean today, tomorrow, right into uh, even Tuesday. So elevated seas and then watching us in the eastern Caribbean, the Atlantic passageways are going to be elevated. We do have some choppier seas, higher seas, especially south central uh, Caribbean. Here's that front little front sweeping by uh, today near the Avalon Peninsula moving off. But there's that snow parts of uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, the Great Lakes 
uh, Quebec, Ontario, uh, watching some of that uh, snow that is around and you see it right there, watching out for that severe weather threat later today, even into tomorrow, a couple thunderstorms southeast US. But there we go, New England lifting right up toward the Atlantic region of Canada, backside of it, shot up some colder air, and then this front will clip by Bermuda. And then as we get into Wednesday, we'll see some additional moisture uh, back through parts of the Bahamas, Cuba, and into Jamaica. And you see it here. Look at the brighter colors, just these little kind of uh, uh, spots of uh, uh, some of us that could get two to three inches of rain or 50 to 75 millimeters of rain. That's telling me we have that chance of some scattered storms. So some scattered thunderstorms will be a possibility. And then by the time we get into the middle of the week, we'll get a better chance around Jamaica. But hit or miss still, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, uh, St. Bart's, uh, St. Martin, uh, St. Croix, watching out for some of those uh, scattered showers, but not too high. But still, we could get a few spots for us in the Eastern Caribbean that get around an inch of rain or 25 millimeters of rain. Grenada, Trinidad, we may see uh, some of that, not for all of us, but some of that. And then we'll see some spotty showers, Suriname and Guyana, especially Suriname. Uh, the rain chance will be building the next few days. And then keep an eye, as I mentioned earlier, Costa Rica, Panama, rain chance uh, will be on the higher side. I'll show you that in a second. And watching that rain chance as well today, Belize and Honduras. We're going to have a chance of some scattered storms, even an isolated chance for Mexico City through Mexico proper all the way up through Texas. So you've seen Jamaica for us on Tuesday and then again, especially on Wednesday, a chance of some scattered storms. So giving you that heads up, Cayman Islands will be up to about a 30% chance on Thursday. 30 to 40% chance of scattered showers possible and some windy weather around Trinidad, Barbados, isolated. Let me know how you're doing with the winds in the comments. If you've seen that increase the last few days, St. Lucia, we have a 30 to 40% chance of some rain the next uh, few days. And it builds a little bit on Tuesday in Grenada. Better chance of a couple showers, but still on the isolated side. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 20 to 30% as we get into the upcoming week. 30% chance for tomorrow in Martinique. 30% chance as we work our way into Dominica to kick off the uh, upcoming week. And we'll keep in those isolated showers the next few days in Guadalupe with that easterly flow. Rain chance the next two days, 30% uh, as we work our way into Antigua, Barbuda. About a 20 to 30% chance in the next three days, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat. Isolated showers possible, as I showed you earlier, Anguilla and St. Bart's, and a 30% chance holding St. Martin, Seva, and Stacia. 20 to 30% chance some isolated showers could get a couple thunderstorms in Puerto Rico. That could always lead to a little bit of flooding. 40% chance of a shower today, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. And you see in the Bahamas Tuesday, and into Wednesday, the rain chance northern and central Bahamas will be going up, but not as much as we work our way back toward the Turks and Caicos. Eastern side of the Dominican Republic, better chance of scattered storms, just a 10, maybe 20% chance of a passing shower, small chance in Haiti. Today, a 40% chance of some scattered showers on Belize, especially closer to the water, 20 to 30% chance in Aruba and on the windy side. We'll stay on the windy side, Curacao and uh, Bonaire the next few days. 20 to 30% chance in Guyana, but you see the rain chance by Tuesday in Suriname. We're up to about a 50% chance, and we're going to see that better chance of late day thunderstorms in Cuba on Tuesday, even on Wednesday. Costa Rica, Panama, you see that rain chance that will be bumping up. Scattered showers, even a few thunderstorms, 30 to 40 percent chance in Nicaragua, and about a 40 percent chance today, especially northern and eastern sections of Honduras, in monitoring again the flooding. Had some of that flooding uh, a few days uh, back, so keep an eye on uh, that. 40 percent chance Guatemala and El Salvador, 20 to 30 percent chance of an isolated shower in Mexico City, uh, and then we'll see as we get into the upcoming week with that front kind of clipping by a uh, few showers possible Yucatan Peninsula but very hot Merida uh, we are going to be uh, baking northern Colombia 20 percent chance of a shower 20 to 30 percent chance in northern Venezuela and watching these fronts scooting by Bermuda as we go over the next uh, few days so monitoring that earthquake cluster rain chance going up for some of us that windy weather con uh, continues and we're not quite yet at hurricane season which is June 1st but it is getting closer so I am monitoring the ingredients out there the dry air uh, the water temperature temperatures, the Saharan dust. We'll be covering that together in some upcoming videos. So again, thank you for taking the time to subscribe. I hope you're doing well. Have a great day ahead.